Okay, how to draw the wavefront diagram? Okay, in the exam, they will give you something. They give you a reflector. And then they give you uh, some incident wave. Eh? Incident wave. And then they ask you to draw the reflected wave here. Okay, the reflected wave. Eh? So how to draw the reflected wave? Okay, now the first thing is you must find uh, the directions of the wave. Eh? Directions of the wave and... Uh, the point of reflections directions of the wave and the points of reflection now how to do that uh, first you try to use your ruler okay find the midpoints okay midpoints of this wavefront okay I, I always suggest my students from uh, to find the midpoint of the first wavefront and the last actually you can use find uh, midpoints of any wavefront eh? okay but to reduce the error I suggest you to find the midpoints eh, of the first and the last wavefront. Okay, you find the midpoints. Okay, let's say this is a midpoint. Use your ruler. Eh? Use your ruler to find the midpoints. Okay, draw. Use your pencil. Okay, because you 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 need to erase this later. Use your pencils to draw a straight lines, joining these two points. Okay, and then make sure that they are 90 degree. Yeah? Suppose they are 90 degree, okay? If they are not 90 degree, then so that means something is wrong, okay? Uh, after you get this point, then you draw the normal, okay? This is called the points of reflections. Points of reflections, huh? Then we draw the normal. Let's use another color for the normal. Okay, so this is normal. The normal is uh, a line which is 90 degree, yeah? 90 degree with the reflector. So after you have these lines, uh, if you have a protractor, then you measure the angle. Okay, you measure the angles and then you measure the same angles here. Okay, and then you draw the lines here. Eh? You draw the line here. But if you, let's say you don't have the protractors to measure the angle. So what can you do? Okay, uh, if you don't have the protractor stands, uh, you need to draw another reference lines. Let's say from here, these lines. Uh, this is not the lines, okay? The reference line, yeah? and uh, make sure that uh, this is ninety degree. Yeah? This is ninety degree, and then you measure this length, okay? You measure this length, then put a mark here. Same length, huh? okay? And then you measure this length, put a mark here. This length, okay? So after you have these two, all the all these lines, huh? okay? Uh, then you can draw your reflected ray reflected ray joining these two lines this is a reflected ray okay this is a reflected ray now this is only the reflected ray but this is not what we want what we want is the reflections of the wavefront reflections of the wavefronts after you have this okay uh, then you can start drawing your wavefront okay you can start drawing your wavefront Let's say I use the orange color for my wavefront. Start drawing your wavefronts here. Okay. Like this. Uh, let me move it up a little bit. So uh, make sure that this is the midpoint. Eh? Okay. Okay. You measure the length here. The length here. Okay. And then you draw. This is 90 degree. And then so this is the midpoint here. Okay. This is the midpoint here. Uh, you draw the first one. And the last one first, okay. Draw the first one and the last one, and then you count. There are one, two, three, four, five, five more, right? Okay, so we have five more. So then you draw five more. Okay, so make sure that the wavelength is still the same or almost the same. The wavelength of this one is almost the same as this one. Okay, now after you have all these lines, uh, mine one is not very good because I do not put it on the midpoints. Huh? Let me adjust it. So make sure that uh, this is the midpoints of the lines. Eh? Okay, it's the midpoints of the lines. So now after you have all your wavefronts, then you can erase the 
reference lines because we have a lot of these uh, reference points eh? okay we just draw it for the reference only okay, all these points uh, we don't need it we don't need that uh, this one also okay so use your pencils to draw okay so we don't need all this line okay so this is your reflected wavefronts first you see yeah uh, the angles of incidence must be equal to the angles of reflections one things and then the wavelengths the distance between the wavefronts uh, the distance between the wavefronts must be the same or almost the same so you use your ruler you put your ruler here you put your ruler here measure the distance of this and here also you put it the same distance so this is how to draw the wavefront diagram okay so a lot of students think that, oh this is very easy but it's not easy actually okay if you want to draw a good wavefront diagram for a reflection it's not easy